I'm glad to see you. If you are new, subscribe, like, comment, and also share. This is what we are going to do. So beautiful. Okay, let's start. Let's begin by typing our title and then setting the size. We are using inches. Then horizontal. Let's create. Okay, first of all, let's take the rectangle tool and let's draw our right angle to cover the entire document. Let's change the color. Let's type this code. Come to the outline and let's increase it to 26.5. Let's change the outline color by typing in this code. Please check the description below and get these items. Download them for free. Let's first import our paper texture. Right click on the paper and choose rotate 90 degrees. Right click again and then let's choose flip horizontal. Okay, so drag it to the right. Now press and hold the shift key and drag the right side just like this and make the necessary adjustment. Now the next thing to do is to import the flower. Place it right here. And move it to the right. Position it just like this. Okay, after that, right click on the shape tool and choose the ellipse tool. Draw your shape from the middle. Make sure to press and hold both shift and control key and then draw your shape. We are putting the shape in the middle, so make sure it is positioned very well. Okay, so now that you are done, come to the layer and bring the shape layer below the flower layer. Excellent. Now let's put the picture of our baby on the shape layer. Resize it. Okay, so now right click on the baby layer and choose clipping mask. Okay, so now follow this carefully. Let's pick the shape layer. Come to the properties. Click on the color tab and then come to gradient. Click on the gradient bar Click on the first handle and then the color. So we are choosing a sample color from the photo. 
so pick it from below after that click ok now click on the second handle then the color and then let's take a sample from here click ok now come back to the layer select the photo layer and let's add a layer mask okay after that let's pick the eraser tool right click and set the hardness to zero let's erase the edges of the photo so that it can conform to the background okay so after that let's select the flower design let's press ctrl j or command j on mac to make a copy let's move to the other side and let's add a layer mask then take our eraser tool right click and set the hardness to 100 and then let's erase some part of it Alright, now select the flower layer and come to the image tab. Then come to adjustment and then come to hue and saturation. Set the hue to negative 70. And click OK. Now resize and position it. Let's press the Alt key and drag the flower to make a copy. Let's right click and choose rotate. and place it right here so we are going to keep on doing this and put them in position let's make a copy one more time and place it right here then another one then another one let's rotate it and place it here let's make one more copy and then flip horizontal and place it right here okay it's time for us to add our test come to properties and let's make these changes we are using Montserrat and the size 14 let's also change the color by typing this code press ok let's change the type to extra bold 
and this one also to negative 50. Let's keep adding the rest of the test. with these properties. Okay, it's time to add our main test. So let's type naming. The font type is Clarissa. and the size to 82. Let's come to the color tab and change the color. So we are taking a sample color from the flower. You can also use this code for the same color. Okay, let's hold down the Alt key and let's drag to copy and we can edit it from here so from here let's change the interval to negative 75 and let's position it well Let's drag and then edit the test to complete all the information. Now I want you to follow along as we add our date and our time. Let's add the rectangle shape and put it right here.
let's change the outline color and increase it bring the layer below the number and come to the properties and let's turn the inside color off add layer mask to the shape and take the eraser tool And let's clean some part of the shape and leave only the double lines Let's press Ctrl J to make a copy of the number and let's edit to complete the full date. Alright, so after this, let's also duplicate this test. And write our time and put it right here. Let's duplicate this test also and this is what we are going to edit and put our venue and our contact number. So come to the properties and let's make a few adjustments here. Okay, so at this time you can save your work and then it will be ready for you to print. Thank you for watching and I thank you for your support so far. If you haven't done it yet, I want you to subscribe, like, comment and share this video. Thank you very much. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.